the D23 Expo in this very special preview of the highly anticipated streaming service, Disney Plus! We are announcing today that we are producing a brand new Lizzie McGuire series for Disney Plus. We auditioned thousands and thousands of actresses, and we found who I think is the perfect girl to play Lizzie McGuire 2.0. Now, when people ask me, and inevitably they will, why is this Lizzie so different from the original? I will have to tell them, because she grew up. Please welcome the one, the only, the absolutely irreplaceable Lizzie McGuire herself, Hilary Duff. <laughs> I spent 10 years, 10 years, trying to figure out a way to develop a fresh take on High School Musical that was really worthy of remaking this classic. And we finally cracked it, which is High School Musical, the musical, the series, which is a story, stay with me here, which is a story about the kids at East High where the High School Musical movies were actually shot, who end up as the stars of that school's production of High School Musical, the musical. You get it? You got it? Fresh off a star-making turn in Toy Story 4, Forky asks a question. Yeah, guys. Is a new collection of shorts from Pixar Animation Studios. It follows Forky as he gets to know a, a little about the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Forky. <clears throat> nope, nope. I'm not coming out. I'm not doing it. Why are these people slapping their hands together? They look crazy. I'm not going, no. Okay, well, if, if you're not coming out, Porky, can you send out uh, Tony, who does your okay, voice? Okay, sure. I mean, if you want second banana, sure. Okay, okay so ladies Hello. and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Tony Hill! I'm sure you're all aware of Monsters, Inc. Today, we're here to share with you a new show that expands the monster world with Monsters at Work. And here to tell us about the show are two of the stars, Ben Feldman and the effervescent Aisha Tyler. Yes, hello. Please welcome producer, extraordinaire, and architect of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios president, Mr. Kevin Feige! The first thing we're gonna talk about is something, this is, again, something Disney Plus is allowing Marvel Studios to do for the first time, our first animated series called What If? Now, What If? is based on a comic series that we've loved for years where they take a storyline you know and change one element and see how things could get different. So the 23 films of the MCU that you know, we're going to showcase one little difference in each episode and see how things change. Peggy Carter herself, Haley Atwell. <laughs> the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I would love you to meet our head writer, Malcolm Spellman, and our director, Kari Skoglin. Anthony Mackey and Sebastian oh. Stan. <laughs> and I would also love to uh, tell you exclusively for D23 for the first time, Sharon Carter is returning, Miss Emily Van Camp. And a new character entering the MCU in this series is a character named John Walker, and he's played by the great Wyatt Russell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the filmmakers and the cast of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming to Disney Plus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. We're doing a Another series, we've announced it already, it features two of our most iconic Avengers, Wanda Maximoff and The Vision. Lizzie Olsen and Paul Bettany are starring in it. Hello! Wow! Wow, hello! 
joining the cast, reprising her role as Darcy Lewis, is Kat Dennings. <laughs> Reprising his role as Agent Jimmy Woo from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Randall Park. <laughs> the amazing Katherine Hahn. <laughs> the cast and the filmmakers of WandaVision, more to come. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you thank for you. being here. Yes. Thanks, <laughs> This being D23, it seemed like you might want some new information. And you might want to hear about three new shows we're doing for Disney Plus. So let's reveal the first one. Miss Marvel, Camilla Khan, Muslim Pakistani teenager from Jersey City is coming to the MCU. It is remarkably exciting for us. You will meet her in her Disney Plus series and then you will see her in our films. Moon Knight, a new action-adventure series coming to Disney+, Plus. a very famous Marvel character for many years, Mark Spector. He was a mercenary. He was left for dead in the Egyptian desert, and he now may or may not be infused with powers from Khonshu, the moon god, or he might just be crazy. It is something very unique and exciting for us. She-Hulk coming to Disney+. Plus. Bruce Banner is no longer the only Hulk in the MCU. Jennifer Walters is a Hulk. She's a lawyer and she's gonna star in a show unlike anything we've done before. This is what Disney Plus is doing for the MCU. It is growing, it is expanding it. Thank you, thank you so much. That's what we've got. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Jeff Goldblum. He has a new series on Disney Plus from National Geographic that taps into his inquisitiveness and his passion for discovering new aspects of everyday things with his own very unique point of view. Let's bring him out. Please help me welcome Mr. Jeff Goldblum. I'm super excited about is Encore, which is executive produced by the amazingly talented Kristen Bell. <laughs> Let's welcome her to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kristen Bell! <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We are taking former high school musical theater casts and reuniting them anywhere from millennials to baby boomers, getting them back on stage for their encore performance. Please welcome president of Walt Disney Picture, Motion Picture Production, Sean Bailey! Thank you, Yvette, and hello, Hall D23. First up, we're gonna get right to it. I wanna talk about Stargirl, a coming of age story based on the critically acclaimed best-selling young adult novel. It centers on Leo Borlock, an unassuming 16-year-old who finds his world turned upside down when the free-spirited Stargirl shows up at his high school. Our Stargirl is the irrepressible Grace Vanderwall. Grace's star quality was apparent when she won America's Got Talent in 2016. She now has two albums and a Teen Choice Award under her belt. We also have a wonderful new talent, Graham Vercher, in the role of Leo. The great Giancarlo Esposito plays Archie, a mentor and father figure for Leo. Now, I am very happy to have Grace and Graham here today to tell you a little more about the film. Grace, Graham. Now, also debuting on Disney Plus is the tale of another kind of unconventional hero. Timmy Failure, mista mistakes were made based on the best-selling book of the same name, explores the story of a quirky young man. Along with his 1,500-pound polar bear partner, Total, Timmy operates Total Failure, Inc., a world-class detective agency, in Timmy's mind, at least. Now, we're very honored to have Academy Award winner Tom McCarthy of Spotlight fame in the director's chair. Over the last decade, we have revisited some of Disney's most well-known classic stories, reinterpreting them in live action with a contemporary perspective for a new generation. 
exclusively for Disney Plus, we are retelling one of the greatest love stories ever with Lady and the Tramp. Thank you. It is a romantic, cinematic adventure that is going to have you falling in love all over again with this pair of adorable canines. And of course, our amazing hostess today, Yvette Nicole Brown, plays Aunt Sarah in our film. And I want to say, you're going to see a lot of movie stars this weekend, but I'm particularly excited about this next group. Here is Yvette with Rose and Monty. Did you say hi? Did you say hi? Was the other people? <laughs> now, there they are. Hi, baby. Monty, good boy. Hi, Rose. Shortly after launch in December, we will be de debuting Togo, the incredible true story of how a man and his canine best friend braved the Alaskan tundra to complete a life-saving mission. Four-time Academy Award-nominated actor Willem Dafoe stars as Leonard Seppala, who must embark on an almost impossible winter journey at the top of the world with only his dog, Togo, to rely on. Julianne Nicholson stars as Leonard's wife, Constance. Now, the spirited Togo doesn't fit the mold of a traditional sled dog, but he is all heart and irrepressible spirit. The last film I want to share with you today sees our heroine traveling on a journey from even further north, the North Pole, to be exact. Now, Noelle is Santa's daughter. Her brother, Nick Kringle, is next in line to succeed their famous father in the family business. It's a very big job, so when Nick cracks under the pressure, Noelle encourages him to take a break. Only problem is, he never returns, forcing Noelle to venture into the real world to track him down and save Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anna Kendrick and Billy Agnew. Hi. It's a family comedy called Diary of a Female President. Please help me welcome Miss Gina Rodriguez and Miss Tess Romero. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce a woman who has ushered in a new era of Star Wars storytelling and introduced a new generation to the excitement an epic adventure of a galaxy far, far away. She's here to share some information about the stories that will continue to expand the Star Wars universe exclusively on Disney Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is incredibly exciting to be here to talk about Disney+. Plus. This service will be the home to the entire Star Wars collection. But before delving into our live action projects, I want to tell you a bit of news about the animated series Clone Wars. As you know, Dave Filoni began this over a decade ago. And we heard from you the plea to bring this series back. So I'm happy to say it will debut on Disney Plus in February 2020. And now I'd like to bring out two actors who will star in a new spy series inspired by Rogue One that's coming to Disney Plus and it's currently in pre-production. Reprising their roles from Rogue One, Diego Luna returns as the charismatic rebel leader Cassian Andor, and Alan Tudyk as the wisecracking, reprogrammed Imperial droid. <laughs> Hello! So many people. <laughs> wow. Do we have a title? Can we say a title? Uh, or? Not uh. quite yet. No? OK, I, that's good, actually, because I have a suggestion okay. for a title. Because uh, right now it's being called. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Cassian Andor, the untitled story. Huh? Which is missing something. No, uh, it's OK. Me, like that. I'm thinking K2 Fast, K2 Furious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Alan. A Cassian Andor story. <laughs> <laughs> We've got you and me in there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> And now I have the pleasure of talking about 
the Mandalorian. This is going to be our first series coming to Disney Plus on November 12th. And there is no one better to tell you about it than executive producer and writer and new Disney legend, John Favreau, and future legend, Dave Filoni. Would you like cast. to meet our cast? Let's do it. Let's bring, bring them out. out. Let's bring them out. Here they, come. Here they come. We got Pedro Pascal. There he is. Come on out. We got we got Gina Carano. Come on, Gina. We got Carl Weathers. And we got something. You want it? You want to finish it up? We got Giancarlo Esposito. And we've got we Taika Waititi. Yeah. Do these people not look like they belong in the Star Wars universe? So before leaving, we do have one more announcement. After secrets and fibs and not being able to talk about it, I am thrilled to bring out a beloved member of the Star Wars family. Music swells. Kathleen, Kathleen, can you ask me in front of all of these people, all of these witnesses, can you please ask me, am I going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of this and much more to look forward to. I am telling you, November 12th can't come soon enough. Thank you, everybody. Have a great D23. Goodbye.